So in the previous video, we looked at the difference between position displacement and uh, distance, okay? And I want to look at velocity versus speed in this video, um, just so that we can kind of like break these uh, concepts apart so we're not thinking of them as synonymous things. And, you know, if in the general... Uh, and generally, when we talk about velocity and speed, um, the majority of cases, we are really talking about the same thing. But in kinematics problems, um, whereas displacement and distance are different, velocity and speed are different in effectively the same way. Um, so displacement has um, both distance, um, a magnitude of distance, and a direction applied to it, and hence it has that vector quantity. Velocity also has that vector quantity uh, because it considers um, a magnitude of speed and a certain direction as well. So velocity can be positive or negative, depending on uh, which way uh, a particle is uh, traveling. Okay, so... Um, what you need to identify and make sure you're clear on is that velocity can be positive or negative. Okay, so a particle may well be travelling in uh, towards the right on our diagram, okay, and we might consider that as the positive direction, okay, and so we would consider it having a positive velocity if it was moving that way. And then if it was traveling back the other way, then we might have a negative velocity, okay? In which case, it could be something like minus two meters per second, for example. Now, speed, as I said, would be the magnitude of the velocity, okay? So the particle speed here would be two meters per second. Speed is a scalar quantity, okay? So the speed does not contain any kind of direction involved. Now, if you then start talking about uh, average velocity and average speed, so if we look to average velocity, then the average velocity is the total displacement of the particle Okay, over uh, the total time. Okay, so in the previous video, we looked at somebody who'd walked five meters in that direction and then seven meters back again. Okay, their displacement was therefore minus two meters. Now, if they did that over, um, I don't know, let's say they uh, had a total displacement of minus two meters, okay? And then they did that in uh, 10 seconds, okay, in their total time. Then we would be looking at uh, minus two over 10, so minus one fifth and minus 0 0.2 meters per second, okay, as their average velocity, whereas if we were to look at average speed, okay, then for that, we'd be looking at the total distance that had been travelled divided by total time. So in the example that we had with this person walking 5 metres this way and then 7 metres back, they've actually covered 12 metres in total and if they'd done that in the 10 seconds, then we'd be looking at 1.2 metres per second as the average speed, whereas the average velocity was minus 0 0.2 metres per second. So quite different figures. So you need to kind of get these concepts uh, sorted in your head, thinking about um, velocity as a vector quantity and speed as a magnitude uh, as, as a scalar quantity, um, rather than uh, one that is looking at positive and negative, okay?